One out of every five comic book consumers is either black or Latino. So that is a significant financial power. Just having characters of color at all in a science fiction setting, we think is important. Should a black creator have predominantly black characters? I think you should have compelling characters. If those characters happen to be black, then so be it. I think people in general, whether they're black or white, probably support what they can see and what they know. If you do manage to get it on the shelf, then you've got to get past the reader's barriers. The reader is going to look at a book that's got a black character on the cover and they're going to think, oh, it's one of those Thug Life books. I think it's about quality, not quantity. And I think that they're underserved by the quality that they're given. In the words of Haki Bada Booty, every action of an oppressed people is a political one. I'm a very political person. As a whole, you know, I have very strong opinions, but when I'm writing, I focus. When I'm writing, I'm writing the story. Getting the community involved and getting them engaged at the idea that the future is yours and science fiction is the way to get into that future. Later, Octavia Butler and uh, a few other writers made it okay to dream and be bigger. Instead of like trying to create those types of carbon copy characters, I think that we should really delve into our own history. We have all, all of us, black, white, native, gay, straight, whatever, have been programmed by the uh, fiction that we have been presented by the mass media to accept certain ethnicities, certain genders uh, in certain roles. Why should I be constricted to this box because of my ethnicity. When people have things that are so limiting, I'm, I'm always curious, I'm like, is that, that's not what your world looks like. I know where you live. So it's either that's what you want the world to be or, or something else.